Welcome to the Carolina Wildlife Conservation Center. Here at Carolina Wildlife, our mission is to take in injured, orphan, and sick animals and release them back into the wild. All of our animals are native wildlife from mammals to reptiles. For example, the Eastern box turtle that we're holding here. We also have beavers, fox, possums, skunks, raccoons, all native mammals and reptiles. And then once they're healed, are raised, then we release them back here on our 105 acres of preserved land. If you find an injured animal, there are some tools that you'll need to be able to get them safely into a carrier so that you can bring them here to us at Carolina Wildlife. Things that I recommend using always would be a thick pair of gloves, these are welding gloves, and a thick towel. A towel will be your best friend when handling wildlife. This is our striped skunk. He was found in Huntersville with a broken leg and the people use these tools in order to be able to capture him and safely bring him to us without anybody getting injured. This is one of our baby squirrels. He was found at the base of a tree. If you ever find an orphan wildlife or injured wildlife, make sure that you keep them extremely warm and do not attempt to feed them. You can look on our website to find information about each individual species to see what is right for them. Always make sure you call a licensed wildlife rehabilitator immediately before you do anything else so they can give you advice. This baby will be raised until he's released back into the wild at about 12 weeks old. You may be wondering if you can come and visit the animals here at the center, but unfortunately, due to state regulations, we are prohibiting from allowing public tours of the animals for their welfare and their well-being. I have been rehabilitating wildlife for approximately 12 years now. My background also consists of being a wildlife biologist. So if you're interested in becoming one of these important people in our system is to pursue your education, be good in your math and science, and make sure that you keep your grades up. So to become a licensed wildlife rehabilitator, you would take a class in your basic wildlife rehabilitation course that can be offered through your local state or through local wildlife organizations. I'm staying here with our rescued baby beaver. This is BB. She will be in rehab with us for two years until she's released back into the wild. You may be wondering what you can do to be able to do this job, be a licensed wildlife rehabilitator, or how to help animals in the future. First of all, make sure that you start with volunteering and getting a great animal education. Speak up and use your voice. Tell people how to treat wildlife. Advocate for their wild places. Save the forests so that they can be free and they can live in the trees. I have a background in veterinary technology and I have a background in zoological medicine. I'm also a licensed wildlife rehabilitator by the state and I continue with my education all the time, taking classes and reading books and constantly learning about these amazing creatures. There are many ways that you can help us and the animals here at Carolina Wildlife. We accept volunteers 18 years or older with animal experience with a long time commitment when you do come and volunteer. But there's so many other ways to help us and the animals. We take any sort of donations, bowls, things off our Amazon wish list. We repurpose sheets, play toys, kids toys for these guys to keep enriched. We, <laughs> we also um, run solely off of donations, monetary donations. Those go to things like our veterinary bills, our food and produce that we give the animals, our formula, our caging like this one to keep it natural, and also the maintaining of our 105 acres of land. Here's an example of how we repurpose donations that are made to us. For example, this is a sheet and somebody gave it to us and we have made it into a hammock for these orphan baby raccoons to feel comfortable and at home like they're up in the trees. Thank you so very much for allowing us to be part of your Giving Tree program this year. We really do appreciate you considering us and the wildlife. If they could say thank you, they would definitely give you a big shout out and a thank you as well. Everything that you give from big to small will definitely serve a huge purpose in us doing what we do and love. Thank you very much.